Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Elon Musk confirms, IDRA's new 9,000-ton Giga Press is for the Cybertruck. Tesla further limits autopilot functionality in Europe to comply with UNEC regulations. Panasonic ships Tesla 4680 cell samples as it gears for mass production. And, Tesla insists that management return to work in the office where most efficient work is done. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's Giga Press supplier, Idra Group, has been teasing an all-new 9,000-ton Giga Press over the last few weeks and will officially unveil the massive machine at an open house in Italy next week. There was a lot of speculation that the new Giga Press was for Tesla, given that Tesla has also previously said it would be ordering an 8,000-ton Giga Press for the Cybertruck, and Idra has even shown it off in a video last year. It is also painted in the automaker's signature red and white colors, like its other Giga Press machines currently in use. After the company released a video recently showing the 9,000-ton Giga Press being assembled ahead of the event next week, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed it will be delivered to Giga Texas and be used to produce the Cybertruck body. The sheer size of the machine's components was highlighted in the clip, as even the contraptions parts dwarfed Idra's staff. One thing was evident in the recently posted video, the 9,000-ton Giga Press is a daunting machine. It is in a way, the perfect contraption for a vehicle like the Cybertruck, which promises to be far different than other pickup trucks on the market today. It is unclear what changed, that Tesla had to increase the specifications of the Giga Press from 8 tons to 9 tons. They currently have several 6-ton Giga Press machines installed at their factories to produce the front and rear unibody castings for the Model Y. With the unveiling of the machine next week, it will then take several more months to deconstruct it, prepare it for shipping, and then finally reassemble it at Giga Texas. Given that timeline, there is a good chance that Tesla is on track to begin production in 2023, as claimed by Musk most recently at the Cyber Rodeo event. We will no doubt learn more about this new Giga Press during the open house event next week, and we'll be sure to bring you all the details then. Moving to the next update, Tesla further limits autopilot functionality in Europe to comply with UNEC regulations. Tesla has been forced to further limit the functionality of its autopilot system in Europe to comply with regulations from the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe UNEC. There were reports that customers in Europe who ordered their cars with either enhanced autopilot EAP, or full self-driving capability FSD, have seen their deliveries put on hold for the last several weeks. According to reports, delivery advisors were saying the delays were due to a pending software update that would deactivate one of the driver assist functions within EAP and FSD. That software update has now been deployed to some vehicles, and the feature that was removed is navigation of highway interchanges and taking exits. According to a copy of the release notes of the 2022.11.102 update shared by John72, drivers must now use the turn signal to manually trigger these previously automatic maneuvers. The navigate on autopilot feature has been updated. A new feature is that a driver triggered request is now required before the vehicle can select a motorway exit or junction, the release notes said. The release notes go on further to explain the update serves as a resolution to a recall for a non-compliance with the previous feature, which does not require a driver-initiated request and only affects vehicles with navigate with autopilot in markets where European ECE regulations apply. Previously, UNEC regulations have forced Tesla to limit functions such as automatic lane changes and limiting how far the steering wheel can turn while autopilot is engaged. These release notes were found on a Model Y used for test drives, so it is unclear if the update has been deployed to customer vehicles. Moving to the next update, Panasonic ships Tesla 4680 cell samples as it gears for mass production. Panasonic said on Wednesday that it has shipped samples of Tesla's 4680 cell to the automaker ahead of mass production. 
Panasonic detailed its plans for the production timeline during the first day of the company's annual investor event. A pilot line, created first in Japan, made it possible to start large-scale prototype production in May, Kazuo Tadanobu, Panasonic's energy business CEO, said during the event. Panasonic believes mass production of the 4680 cell is set to begin in March 2023, when the company's fiscal year starts. Panasonic's Wakayama plant will initially handle the production of the cell. It will then be shifted to North America. Tatanobu has not committed in the past to produce the 4680 cells in the United States, but now that he is stating the company will transition production to North America, it could bring another plant to the United States. Reuters, who initially reported on Panasonic shipping 4680 samples to Tesla, said, the company is looking at sites in Kansas and Oklahoma, people familiar with the matter said. Panasonic only has Tesla as a client for the new cells. Tesla's 4680 battery cell is the automaker's most recent discovery in terms of EV technology as it offers significantly more power, energy density, and range than previous battery designs. It was unveiled in late 2020 by CEO Elon Musk and other executives at the company's Battery Day event. Tesla has been producing the cells at a facility near the Fremont factory in Northern California, but only in limited quantities. Tesla had produced its 1 millionth 4680 cell in January. However, industry researcher Benchmark Mineral Intelligence estimated that 1 million 4680 cells are only enough for about 1,200 Tesla Model Ys. Tesla has been installing the 4680 battery packs in some Model Ys manufactured at the company's new facility in Austin, Texas. Moving to the last update, Tesla insists that management return to work in the office where most efficient work is done. Tesla insists that the management return to work in the office to become an example for all employees of the company. The manufacturer is a rapidly growing company, bringing to market many new revolutionary products, so the work must be extremely active. A recently leaked internal email sent by Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed that the company is pushing for all employees to return to their workplaces in the office. If employees of the company want to keep their job, they must be at their direct workplace in the office for at least 40 hours a week in accordance with the requirements of the employer. This means that if the position involves working in the office, then employees cannot work remotely. At the same time, each exceptional case when an employee cannot work in the office will be reviewed and approved personally by Musk. The head of the company also emphasized that a 40-hour workweek is even less than factory workers' work. Work commitments must be performed at Tesla's main office, not at a remote branch office, unrelated to job duties, the CEO said. This email from Elon Musk created a lot of confusions, so a second mail was sent, clarifying about the matter. Musk sent a second email to Tesla employees, and it seems to clarify some of the statements made in his initial email communication to employees. The email was shared by Sam Nissim. The subject of the email is, to be super clear, and outlines his personal views on executives not being present in the workplace to set an example for others. Everyone at Tesla is required to spend a minimum of 40 hours in the office per week. Moreover, the office must be where your actual colleagues are located, not some remote pseudo-office. If you don't show up, we will assume you have resigned. The more senior you are, the more visible must be your presence. That is why I lived in the factory so much, so that those on the line could see me working alongside them. If I had not done that, Tesla would long ago have gone bankrupt. There are of course companies that don't require this, but when was the last time they shipped a great new product? It's been a while. Tesla has and will create and actually manufacture the most exciting and meaningful products of any company on earth. This will not happen by phoning it in. Confusion over whether the termination of work from home at Tesla was company-wide, which was created initially, seems to be eliminated by this mail. Tesla will likely get rid of any remote positions, especially as Musk's email was sent to all employees. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments.
Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.